Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to attempt to try to define what statistics is. And so really it comes down to four individual things that need to be done in order to practice, so to speak, statistics. We can consider it the signs of collecting, classifying, presenting, and interpreting data. So four very specific actions. And let's define each of those four actions, which in turn will then define what statistics is. First of all, collecting of the data. It, that depends on the questions being asked if these are surveys, the sampling group picked, the sample group of what you want to investigate in order to represent the total population, the choice of geometric location. It could be a scientific experiment on a circuit board. It could be an experiment in a geographical location on a population, various things like that. So, we really need to control and very carefully decide how we're going to collect the information, the data that we want to then classify. So the next step then is once we've collected the data, we want to classify it. And again, we need to decide how that's going to be done. How is the data going to be grouped? How is the data going to be laid out and so that we can actually make sense out of the data? And then finally, we need to find a way to present that data. And that's the key to statistics. That depends upon how you're going to pick the graph that you want to use, how you want to scale the graphs. All those various techniques are used to make it more easily visible as to what the data physically and actually represents. And then after you've done all that, you collected the data, you classified the data, you presented it in a particular format, now you want to interpret what that actually means. Now there, you need to be very careful because that needs to be done either with or without bias. And of course, you may already have some predetermined results that you're looking for. So you're fishing for a certain outcome and you may have motives that are not as scientific as they should be. So this is the place where statistics can often be misused. Besides, of course, if you mess up on these other parts, then of course it becomes a real big mess. But after you have real good data, you've classified it, you've presented it in a good way, then how you interpret that, what does that mean, that's still a skill, the most difficult part of statistics. And we'll cover those topics all in the, view, in the videos to come. Then we still want to identify the difference between what we call descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics really speaks for itself. You have the data and it is what it is. And so therefore, data tends to be a very unbiased representation of what is actually physically going on. Inferential statistics, well, it's based on the word infer. What do you infer from the data? Well, that's a technique of interpreting the interpretation of the numbers resulting from the descriptive technique. So first you take the data, you collect it, this is the data, this is typically unbiased data, unbiased information, and then you want to infer what that information means. So the statistics in taking and interpreting what the data actually means. And so therefore there's a difference between the first part and the second part. So it almost means that this here would be considered the descriptive statistics and then the inferential statistics when you actually go and interpret what the data really means. So that's the basic concept of what statistics is.